Because today, it's going to happen. Today is the first day that my exhibition at Gallery Bruno Barat will be opened. In this video, I will show you guys a tour and tell you some specific things about the paintings and the artworks that I will exhibit until the 30th of October. This is the first painting that you see when you walk into the gallery, and this is Miss Cubensis. The Cubensis is a species of mushrooms where this is inspired by, and the mushroom that I painted here. And you can also sort of see uh, the mushroom in her dress, and maybe even there. So you see the mushroom uh, everywhere. And this is the first painting uh, that I did and also the biggest painting of this new style and this is sort of a combination between the uh, old uh, theme that I had with the light of the phone and the new style with the different layers and all these details that you see in the painting as well and here you can see respect the authority of flower power and if you look over here you can see a little bit why I choose this title mm -hmm. because it might be a bit of a weird title and the cool thing about this painting is um, in contrast to what I used to do I, uh, I just start randomly so I, I just use a, bra a brown background and I just uh, randomly start with the composition, very rough, and then every layer I add more details. And this really has sort of 17th century touch to it, very Baroque kind of, uh, kind of composition. And in a way I also like to keep this one, uh, you know, as if it's a bit off, you know, it doesn't really have to be, uh, to uh, make sense in, uh, in perspective and everything. And in every layer, I added a bit more details. And so this, this is one of those paintings that, you know, you can have it for hanging in your house for, for years. And eventually we'll probably still see, uh, see other details coming up uh, after years. Really pleased with this one. This one, we also used the poster. And here you can also see the ceramics that I made specifically for this painting and uh, where you can see these objects coming back in this painting also. What, what, I, uh, what I started doing with some, some new paintings, so uh, that's really cool. Daniel, Daniel. And then the next painting, The Temptation of Apple. This is an older painting, of course. Probably a painting that many of you have already seen. I painted this in 2015. But it still fits really well into the other paintings. Also because there's so much detail going on. You see all these animals around. This is a really typical new light painting, of course. Where you see the light of the phone reflecting on the face of Eve. But also, the light of the phone reveals the moment where Adam peeks over the shoulder of Eve. This is the exact moment, and the light will show that. Above me you see the red pot hat. I made this one specifically for red flowers, you know? And the cool thing about uh, this design 
is uh, this part is sort of um, are sort of symbolizing the leaves, and then the faces are symbolizing the flowers. So it matches really well with uh, a particular kind of flowers uh, that you can put in it. For instance, if we go to this one, this one would match really well with blue flowers, for instance. This is a really cool special corner in this uh, gallery because as you can see here are the vases and uh, behind me there's my tulip painting of the vase with a flower inside. There's a bottom underneath so that means you can put water in it. This is Pandora. Pandora with an aluminum box. Sort of all the trees in the distance can match up with the total matrix of uh, construction in the background. It can sort of symbolize, the, you know, like 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 where she's caught up in, you know, like uh, uh, it symbolizes the endless wave of information that she's exposed to. Yeah, this is also one of the older pieces. So here you don't see all these uh, subtle serial, surrealistic details yet, but uh, yeah, I made this one in uh, 2019. Daniel, Daniel When I make these uh, new light paintings, don't mostly don't paint what you see on the phone that keeps it mysterious and then it's only the light that shows what's going on breastfeeding woman you can really see color spectrum here here you see very warm tones and the further you go uh, towards the background where you see the light reflected here it loses a bit of the warm colors and that's often also how you see your light you know where the contrast is where it where the light reflects um, immediately, there, there, the, 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 the contrast is much, much stronger than uh, like uh, further into the painting. This is also not really the soul surrealism yet, you know. So you see uh, a, 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 really a line in, in this exhibition between the older and newer paintings. The cool thing about this painting, by the way, is I made this painting also for the exhibition I had last year in the Fuhrmann Museum. And there was this one painting, it's called uh, Poverty, uh, Armoede. And it was similar because Fuhrmann Senior made a painting of, uh, of a woman breastfeeding a child. And I was already thinking about making a painting like this. But then when I knew I was going to exhibit there along Fuhrmann, I definitely knew I have to finish this project before I exhibit there. So there's a beautiful resemblance between, you know, what he did back then and now, breastfeeding woman with an iPhone. Some of them are vases, some of them are candle holders, and they're pretty cool on their own. But I always love them even more when they're in a group. The more together, the more uh, the nicer, the cooler it looks. So that's also really great here in this show that we, uh, we put a lot of these hands together. It gives a really beautiful, uh, gives a really beautiful look to it. And uh, that's, you know, the power of, of a mass of these all together. It looks like one art piece together. You can buy them separately. You can, you can get them separately. Daniel, Daniel. Daniel. 
Verlichting van het monster. Enlightenment of the monster. That's the title of this painting. And this composition I took from different paintings of 17th century painters and BC Kukuk. A painter that I really admire. So I thought it would be really nice to first start with uh, a very uh, 17th century, 18th century kind of composition and then add, you know, like weird shapes to it while working on it. And eventually, you know, this turned out into some sort of a monster. So I thought like, oh, that's, that's a good title for it. But then this one underneath it, this one I made in a whole different way. So, and this one I, I started very randomly. So I, I just added some shapes here and there. And then completely on my intuition, I, I put faces in it, you know, put different new shapes in it with every layer that I worked on it. So they're in a way, they're a bit similar in, the, in their style, in the whole new subtle surrealistic style. But the approach of how I made them, it's, it's, it's quite different still. So uh, this is, by the way, this is one of the first paintings also. These are, are, are quite early, like early in this year that I started in this, in this manner. So you can still see like how I'm searching for a, a way to approach it and to do it. This, this, this painting is called uh, The Rabbit Race. And if you look really careful, you can see probably why. So behind me, on this side and that side, you see the, uh, the IJssel landschappen, the, the IJssel landscapes. But these are all made in a sort of a more a traditional style, how I used to work. Uh, only this one is different. Here you see the I spy, I spy details. I spy, I spy with my own little eye. Some sheep flying to the sky. And for the rest, it's just, uh, uh, they're, they're just more traditional. And I used to paint landscapes a lot in this way as well. And these are also made plain air, all of these. So I, I did them just on the spot. Rogue rainbow vegetables. What's really interesting is, is, is that from all the people that I ask, like which painting appeals mostly to you, uh, a lot of people say this painting and uh, that's really interesting. I, I uh, you know, you have certain expectations of what people would like and don't, but this one, this is one painting that a lot of people really like. This is one of the later paintings of this new style, the I spy, I spy, the XE, XE style. While I was doing this, I felt like, oh yeah, you know, sometimes a carrot or, you know, uh, any kind of a vegetable has like a sort of a transition in the colors, sort of rainbow in the colors. And I thought like, uh, let, let's just make that more extreme. In this painting, you also see uh, again, you see here this cup that I also uh, made in reality, in real life, it's over here. So I made a bunch of those. And this is inspired by the 17th century uh, cups, rumors, berkemeyers. I don't know the English words for it, but it's like 17th century Dutch cups. This uh, painting is called Maya. And uh, I wanted to paint her, you know, like, as if she is like flying along with the clouds and along with the spaceship behind her. It's, this is also this transition piece, you know, of the new light paintings that I used to do, like the, 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 the theme of the new light, but then uh, my new style, adding different shapes into it. There's so much to see if you look very long. If you look, look, look for a long time to, at this painting, I think uh, more and more uh, shapes will uh, appear. I'm 